vicarious trauma is um, actually the symptoms are very similar to direct trauma. So a lot of the um, points that Stephen made around all the symptomatology um, absolutely still apply in terms of vicarious trauma. So social media being exposed in the media. So that's actually one thing that we absolutely know that there's a connection between um, social media exposure and uh, traumatic uh, responses. And so, um, and it's, you know, so as I shared before, it's, it's, um, observation in media, it's, um, hearing about something happening, it's hearing it from your friends. It's also, I mean, honestly, some of the vicarious trauma research came out of intergenerational trauma research and talking about the ways that trauma and stress can be transmitted between generations, um, within a household or within a community. And so, um, absolutely. Um, if you, if, in terms of what it looks like, it looks very, very similar. Um, the other part to think about with vicarious trauma is that we hold, and I so appreciated the points that are in the chat and also that um, Stephen made about, we hold this in our bodies um, and uh, it accounts, it's at least, I mean, I think the National Institutes of Health are starting to actually be able to explicitly talk about the ways in which um, the health disparities um, can be an, an aspect of accounting for that is discrimination and racial trauma. Um, and, and so, but it's partially because we, we've experienced trauma. And so when we um, have experiences of vicarious trauma, we can reenact and relive and it can exacerbate our own experiences of trauma as well. So there's multiple avenues in which vicarious trauma negatively impact our mental and physical health.